This chanting is called the Yuga Dharma, the universal method of self-realization for every living being in this universe. By chanting this mantra, one completely perfects one's entire existence and achieves eternality, complete knowledge, and unending, ever-increasing, ever-escalating pleasure. Ananda, this chanting is the real means to peace, love, happiness, and everything else desirable between us on this planet. By chanting, there's nothing to lose and everything to gain. It doesn't cost any money. The gain is beyond what money can buy. Chant Hare Krishna. It, the proof of the pudding is in the tasting. The more you do it, the more peace will come, individually and collectively. I've been doing this for almost 40 years. I can say from personal experience, it feels good. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna, good night. Sipadaiju Prabhu Ki! Guru Parampara Ki! Groping in the blinding darkness of ignorance like a complete fool and being given mercy by the superior pure devotee and understanding that truthfully no matter how so calledly accomplished one gets in the Krishna conscious society never becoming puffed up and proud that is the way of actual success. Ki. That is called disciplined succession. Thank you very much. You'll be tested with a fine tooth comb. More than if you're in the Marines and they come in, you know, put the finger under the bed and see, aha, look at the dust. And then you cleaned everything else, but here's the dust. Even more scrutinizing is the test. Go back home back to God here. So here's the process to pass the test. We have to be Manmana Bhava Mad Bhakto Madhyaji Mam Namaskaru at every moment. Not, I think of Krishna for a few moments and then the rest of the time Dharma, Artha, Kama and Moksha to the hill. That is the elephant taking a nice bath and then coming up on the river and throwing dust all over himself. It's practically speaking the seventh offense. Oh, I have a nice process to neutralize all my sinful reactions and material desires. You know, I'll clean myself up and parade around like I'm something wonderful, you know, but actually I'm just filled with material desires in the heart. Give me the basket. One cannot enter into the real realm of pure devotional oh, service unless one is completely free of material desire. And because we're conditioned to think that material desires and mental speculation is something good, we're very, very, very much attached. It's like a worm in stool. You take the worm out, the worm wants to come back. Or the story of popcorn bondage. Once upon a time in India, a hundred years ago or more, there was a destitute person embracing a pillar in a traveler's rest house. One nice pilgrim, a little well to do, took compassion and went to a new nearby Dukan a shop and bought him a bag of popcorn. And he gave him the popcorn. But unfortunately, you know, the destitute was either too weak, too demented, foolish, or a combination of all to take his hands from around the pillar so he can eat the popcorn. Put the hand in the bag and put it in his mouth. So he couldn't sit and give him all good instruction. You should do that, remove your hand, take the bag, eat the popcorn. And he just, just kept making all these like ridiculous attempts. And finally, he took the popcorn and just sprinkled it on the floor and left. So that's us. We're, we are told by the proper personality, give up your unnecessary attachment to the pillar of this material world except that something's not worthwhile in terms of the bag of popcorn, but we're unable to do it. So the chanting of the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra is so nice that it shows us that we don't have to embrace this material world anymore. So we should beware of all types of impersonal philosophy, mental speculation, except the gift of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and the pure devotees. We gain our soul, understand who we are. We have a spiritual identity that Krishna very much likes to enjoy with. That's the thing that we have to awaken, the understanding that I am the Boga. Everyone is walking around imitating Krishna and Radharani, you know? I'm the enjoyer, I'm the exploiter, I'm the proprietor, I am the master. And that's why there's so much fight in the material world, because all the little imitation Krishna and Radharani's, they're all in competition with each other. Oh, you're more beautiful than me. Well, I'm envious of that. I'm going to try to drag you down, you know, or not. That's my man. I'm taking him from you, or that's my woman, or whatever. This is all just sheer lunacy. It has nothing to do with reality. So the more we awaken, 
our original consciousness that I'm actually meant to be enjoyed by Krishna, then we stand on the platform of real freedom, real individuality, real unlimited everything, you know? Giving one's mind to Krishna, everything, Apani Vedna is the highest perfection. And this chanting of Hare Krishna brings us to that position. This is a material world, it's meant for people, two things, mostly for people who want to be an illusion, that's Maya. Krishna is so kind, you want to forget me? Okay, I'll give you a place and I'll give you all kinds of philosophy and logic to completely forget me forever. But at the same time, those of us who were put in this situation somehow or another, come to realize that this is just abhorrent, has nothing to do with my real self and happiness. Why am I in such an obnoxious environment? What is the answer? Ah, then this material world, its real function is to bring those type of good people to their senses. And for that, there's always a distribution of a proper disciplic line, devoted to Krishna, to give the proper information. So it's divine grace, Shula Prabhupada came from India, he gave the real thing. Shula Prabhupada is everyone's constructing spiritual master on this planet for the next thousands and thousands of years, even though he left the planet 40 years ago in 1977. Read Prabhupada's books, you accepting him as the captain of the boat, the guy to get you the hell out of this madhouse. And if you take shelter of Prabhupada's instructions and do what he says, guarantee you will go back home back to God. So this Harinam Sankatan party that's sitting here is representing Shuma Prabhupada. We are humbly trying to serve him. We are trying to give the real thing. And those who want the real thing, it's here. If you want to be cheated, there's so many philosophies. No problem. But if you want the real thing, really in your heart, Christ is in your heart, he'll help you. He'll give you the intelligence. He'll give you the steady determination and proper realized faith to take the steps necessarily, necessary to do what it takes to achieve that position of reality. Reality, knowledge, and